Anyone can hack an iPhone, a hood ornament on Mars, and William Shatner needs your help. I'm John P. Geekbeat boldly goes now. This episode of Geekbeat is brought to you by Domain.com. If you're running the most recent release of iOS on your iPhone, beware. Even if you lock your phone, literally anyone can unlock it and gain access to your contacts and stuff. All you have to do is lock your phone, then slide to unlock. Then tap emergency call and hold the sleep button down until the power prompt appears. Then click cancel, dial 911, then cancel before the call goes through. Then lock the phone with the sleep button, then turn it on using the home button, then slide to unlock, hold the sleep button, and in three seconds, tap emergency call. Simple, right? Anyway, no word yet from Apple on a fix for this security hole. If your car is missing a hood ornament, the Curiosity rover may have just found it on Mars. Okay, on closer inspection, NASA scientists say the hood ornament, or door handle as some see it, is actually just a rock that's been highly polished by the Martian wind. Or it could actually be your missing hood ornament whisked away to the red planet by extraterrestrials you choose. Speaking of choosing, William Shatner is asking for help selecting a name for one of two tiny moons discovered on Pluto. Actually, probably around Pluto. But anyway, he's managed to get the name Vulcan on the online ballot, and he's asking Trekkers to cast their votes. If you're more of a Wookiee than a Trekkie and are wondering why Alderaan isn't among the names up for consideration, we consulted the nominating rules and learned that Names for the moons of Pluto must come from Greek or Roman mythology related to Pluto slash Hades and the underworld. With less than two weeks to go, Vulcan is not winning. So we're calling on geeks everywhere to go to the website plutorocks.com and help Captain Kirk out. Remember, a vote for Vulcan is a vote for Spock. Live long and prosper. Fascinating. Speaking of PlutoRocks.com, I wonder if they registered that domain with Domain.com. Don't forget, if you use coupon code GEEKBEAT, you'll get 20% discount off Domain.com's already low prices. Personally, I think someone should register PlutoFund.com so we can raise money to make sure Pluto gets its planetary status reinstated. How can they even be talking about moons orbiting a pseudo-planet at a time like this? Anyway, Domain.com, coupon code GEEKBEAT. You know what to do. Finally, even though experts keep reassuring us that asteroid 2012 DA-14 will miss Earth this week, what if they're wrong? Well, first of all, it's way smaller than the asteroid believed to have killed off all the dinosaurs, so relax. 2012 DA-14 is closer to the size of the asteroid that exploded over Siberia in 1908. Only 825 square miles of trees were destroyed in that close encounter that unleashed more heat and energy than the atomic bomb that leveled Hiroshima. A regional disaster, yes. A worldwide disaster, no. See, don't you feel better now? I'm John P. Be sure and vote for Vulcan at PlutoRocks.com and stop by our Geeks Plus community between episodes. Dave, one to beam up. code GEEKBEAT, you get 20% discount on the du- <laughs> hey, The thing is, Callie can't see the tally. Callie can see the tally. No, wait. Only a hundred- eight. Man, it's still winter over there. Yeah.